Hello YouTube, it is Everything you Pan here, and in this video, we are doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Chicago Build 58S in PCM or 86 box. This is the, uh, if you want to call it the kind of third part of the trilogy I've been talking about here throughout this week of doing uh, these PCM 86 box videos, uh, because what we need for installing uh, Build 58S, which by the way was uh, the first uh or earliest build that was leaked of the windows 90 for windows 95 um and it was in the code name chicago uh at the time and uh so this was the first one out of any of them there's some reported earlier builds um but none of those have been or you know were ever officially leaked um or any of that uh so this is the the first one that was really uh proved to be the official uh kind of first leak of the chicago uh 95 series um but the trilogy that i'm mentioning is that this will need uh windows 3.1 already installed which you need when uh ms 6.22 installed prior to having windows 3.1 so um you can see how that stacks up where you need those in regards to uh this video um and so uh what you'll need is going to be in the description everything will be in the description there for you uh, PCM will be down there if you do not have that already um, and then you can get different ROMs online um, that you'll need with PCM so you can download that here same thing with 86 box um, you can download the program here and then you'll need ROMs as well um, for that and so these are available if either uh, if you do not have either one of those downloaded, whichever you prefer, they're relatively similar. Um, some people prefer one or the other. One over the other it just kind of depends on what uh, you prefer. And then, of course, the other links that will be down there, um, I'm going to include links for uh, MS-DOS 6.22 with the CD-ROM driver if you already know how to install it. Um you can get them off of this archive link here and then um same thing with windows 3.1 that will be included down there as well if you already you know know what you're doing with installing it um and just do not have the iso for it um you will need that so you'll go ahead and you can download that from here um and then the last link is going to be a winworld link uh, for the 58s uh file here um so it will come in a uh seven zip folder so um you'll need something like winrar or seven zip or something to open up that file and extract the uh iso that's in there um once you have everything that's needed for this um, whether you've obtained it already or have gotten it from the description whatever um, you'll want to go ahead and open up your preference of pcm or a6 box uh, in this video as you'll probably see in a lot of these videos i will use uh be using 86 box so we'll have the uh, manager opened up here and we're going to want to add a uh, machine and i'm just going to call this windows chicago build 58s and then i'm going to check to configure the machine now and we'll go ahead and hit add it's going to say that the machine was successfully created so go ahead and hit ok and it's going to go ahead and create your virtual machine and then um, once again, these are the settings that I use in here. You can experiment with these if you want, if you find anything maybe that works better. Uh, but the machine type that I use is a socket seven dual voltage. The machine itself is the Epox P55 VA. Uh, CPU type, I do uh, Intel Pentium MMX with 233 speed. And then the memory that is uh, as high as it goes is 128 megabytes, so I just put it all. And then, especially for this, um, it wasn't as important in the MS-DOS or Windows 3.1 like tutorials that you've watched. But we we'll want to make sure we have the time synchronization disabled. Um, this is key here for when we enter the uh, the BIOS state or get that reset. Um, to leave that disabled so it doesn't like try and reset it to the current date. And then once that's done, going down to the next one here and go to display. And for this, I usually pick the um, the ATI uh, 64GX right here. 
Um, and then just make sure you have Voodoo Graphics checked. Um, so that's the graphics uh, that I use for any of these machines. For input devices, you can select any one of these. I usually just do standard PS mouse. Um, again, doesn't really matter which one you pick here. Um, for sound, this one is important as we'll need a specific sound card here. Um, this one will want to do Sound Blaster V1.5. Um, and this should work here. You'll, I'll, I'll show you how to get the driver installed for it later on in the video. Um, and then for network here, so that's all you need for sound. Nothing else checked here or anything. For network, you can do anything. I and mean, it's not like you're going to be surfing the web or anything. But, you know, I just do Slurp and then AMD PC Net um, PCI one here. Um, ports we can leave be storage controllers. I just do the IDE controller um, on the hard drive controller. Nothing else changed here. And then we'll need to create our hard disk here. Um, should only need, uh, I usually just do a gig. So I'm just going to do Windows Chicago build 58S for the file name. And then for size, I'm just going to do one gig um, for that here. And then everything else should remain the same. Just make sure that it says IDE and 00, 0 here and that nothing else has changed after entering it in on the size and hit OK. And it's going to go ahead and create that disk. Now, heading into the floppy drives and CD-ROM drives here, um, there's two floppies inserted in here. You can go ahead and uh, cancel one of those out there or turn one of those off. And then for this, I'd usually just do the 3.5 inch 1.44 megabyte uh floppy and then for cd-rom this really honestly doesn't matter i usually just do a tapi and 24x you can probably put the speed higher if you want um, but i just know 24x was a common uh, read write speed something to do there um, and then nothing change here in other removal devices or peripherals so we can hit ok to confirm those changes and then once that's done uh, we can go ahead and uh, start up the machine here and then to make this so that you can resize it, um, you can go up to the view tab and do resizable window. And if you drag it up and make it there, um, it'll pull it up here as it should uh, full screen. So um, once the machine starts up, it's gonna give you a CMOS checksum error that the defaults are loaded because this is the very first time you're starting it. Uh, what we wanna do is hit delete to enter uh, the setup here. And I wanna go into standard CMOS setup here. It's gonna have the default date to January 1st, 1996. Um, I think the lowest year it goes to is 1994. Yep, looks like that. Um, so just go ahead and set it to January 1st, 1994 because the date um, that it was out was, uh, looks like uh, August 8th of 1993 was the date for this. So um, obviously it's not gonna have the uh, the build here as it should, um, or the exact date as it should. Um, and I apologize. That's actually, uh, August 10th, not August 8th or October 8th, but August 10th of 1993 was the date that it was released. Um, so just do January 1st, 1994. Um, it will still work. Um, and then go ahead and back out and hit F10 and then make sure to hit Y to save the changes and exit. And while we're here, um, this is the point where you would go ahead and insert um, the floppies here to do MS-DOS installation and make sure you go through with installing uh, Windows 3.1. Obviously, there's no disk right now, so it's going to error out. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get that all taken care of. I'll get MS-DOS installed and get Windows 3.1 loaded on here. And then once we get Windows 3.1 loaded, um, we'll show you how to um, get the Chicago installation started here. Um, so, and if you do not know how to install Windows 3.1 in PCM or 86 box, I will include a link in the description here um, to go ahead and uh, install that. If you need any assistance on that, um, you can redirect to the link there and it uh, will give you my tutorial there on installing Windows 3.1 in there. So um, I'll go ahead and get this taken care of and then I'll come back to you guys once I'm finished with getting uh, MS-DOS loaded and then getting Windows 3.1 uh, installed. Okay, so we have uh, Windows 3.1 loaded here after it getting installed. Um, so basically to get the uh, Chicago beta here installed, the 58S, um, 
You want to make sure you have the ISO inserted in the CD-ROM up here. So go up to media, CD-ROM, and then go to image, and then go locate where your um, ISO is saved. Um, and mine is in here. And then the way to go to uh, start the setup on that is go to file manager in Windows 3.1 here. And then uh, you'll want to find, uh, or actually go into the D drive up here. And then you'll want to go ahead and find setup.exe. So if you scroll over here, there is the program labeled setup.exe. Go ahead and double click on that to open it, and it will bring up the Chicago setup here. Um, so go ahead and hit, you can hit yes to install the plus pack. Uh, it's going to say please wait while loading, and it's going to go ahead and bring up this welcome to setup. So it uh, looks like, of course, here the only option we can pick is customize. It's going to ask where we want to save it. Um, you can save it here, pick a different directory if you wish. Hit continue. And then um, you can actually go in here, and if you want to like try and change uh, the card here to go to Creative Lab Sound Blaster, um, it should put that in here then, uh, see if sound works right off the bat. Otherwise, if it doesn't, I can show you. Um, how to add it in there if you need. So it's going to go ahead and copy the files over here, um, give you some brief information about the Chicago beta program. So just go ahead and let it install the files. And if this comes up, you can go ahead and skip it. Should be the only one that comes up. Um, and then just hit continue on this. And then it's going to ask to reboot the system. So go ahead and hit OK to reboot. And then it should automatically boot in. There you can see the Chicago boot screen here. Preliminary release of uh, the beta there in August of 93. Um, so you can see here that the uh, there was a problem loading the uh, driver here for the sound. So we'll go in and fix that. Um, if this tracker comes up here to enter the beta site ID, um, the beta site ID is 990036. Um, and then you can just hit OK and that should disappear. So uh, here we are with Windows uh, Chicago Build 58S loaded. Um, you can see in the About Chicago tab here on the bottom, you can see version 4.00.58S. So you can see uh, that we've got that on here. Um, now to go ahead and actually get the sound working on this. If we go into the uh, file cabinet here, um, and I can show you how to get into where like the control panel is located uh, to actually go ahead and get this all installed. So um, there's different things, you know, down here as well. Um, but if you go into uh, the Chicago folder in your C drive um, and you do controls.sys, and if we go to, um, you see there's a lot more options in here than there was in Windows uh, 3.1. But if we go to uh, drivers here, um, you see there's all these different uh, drivers installed, um, that kind of thing. You can see all the uh, products that are installed here. If we configure this driver here, you should see, I think there's one that looks like Microsoft driver for Sound Blaster 1.0 and 1.5. If we configure and do 220 and 7, just like you did on uh, Windows 3.1, we'll save that and hit yes. And then, um, so yeah, there we go. It's confirmed in there. So uh, it says we'll need to go ahead and restart Windows for it to take effect. Um, so we'll go ahead and close everything out here. Um, could leave this open, I guess, if you want. But we'll go ahead and close everything out. And then what we'll do is we'll shut down Windows. And then uh, we'll go up to Action and then Control-Delete, and it should restart. I'll reboot the machine here. And you'll hear that the sound is now working. So... Um, so it's got the startup uh, sound there, and the shutdown sound is the same thing uh, as the startup there. But um, so yeah, if you go to do start, shutdown, and hit OK, 
see it'll play it again and sometimes the sounds a little bit glitchy but um it uh does work uh, as you can see after doing uh making sure to go in and re-add it uh but that's all there is to it um as you can see it's just rebooting back up you see preliminary release august of 1993 so it was in uh october it was august 10th of 1993 for the build date on it but uh, with that all being said, that is the uh, tutorial here on how to install Windows Chicago Build 58S in PCM or 86 box. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful at all or did enjoy watching the video, you can leave a like down below here. I'd greatly appreciate that. Uh, if you have any ideas for any future videos, anything uh, you guys want to see or anything you want to leave down uh, in my comments, you can leave a comment down below. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, uh, as I've seen that most of my viewers are uh, not subscribed. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can hit the subscribe button down below and you can go ahead and hit the notification bell as well next to it there uh, to be notified whenever I upload um, and keep up to date with the videos that get uploaded here on the channel. Uh, so once again, that is the video tutorial on how to install Windows Chicago Build 58S in PCM or 86 box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.